Hi, Lambrian. Hi, Noor. Do you want some coffee? Yes, please. Yeah, it's time to energize a bit. I haven't had my breakfast today. Mm. By the way, talking about breakfast, did you know that having very caloric breakfast is the real part of British culture? Mm. I just found out it today and was thinking why not ask about it um, and ask about the reasons behind it from our guest right now. Okay. It's the headmaster at Haley Berry Astana, John Calls. I can wait to taste it. So it's talk and cook, let's get started. Okay, gentlemen, welcome to our kitchen. Okay. Yes, we have here uh, plenty of ingredients. Okay. And John, tell us more in details about what we are going to cook okay. today. Okay, so today we're going to cook a traditional English um, breakfast. Oh. Um, this was eaten by probably most Brits, British people as breakfast about 30, 40 years ago. Mm. Um, it is now recognized as being very unhealthy. Um, unhealthy. <laughs> uh, it is unhealthy, that's why we stopped eating it. Um, but it's still used often on Sundays in mm. the morning. Um, if you're having a late morning just to do a, a quick, it's known as doing a fry up. Yeah. Um, so, so basically you've got eggs, bacon, sorry, bacon, sausages, mushrooms and baked beans and some toast mm -hmm. um, and uh, I'll, I'll show you. It looks like we have very good breakfast yeah. today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See how it goes. Yes, okay. Okay. So, should we start? Right, okay, so the first things we need to do are the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. um, so we need a um, to put those in the oven. So if I use mm -hmm. that as there, tray, and just we will just chop those up. And basically, what we're going to do is put those in the oven for about 20 minutes mm. and forget about them. Okay, okay. so we put them in there and I might just chop them down to so they'll chuck over there. All right, okay, so. I'm just watching how you do it so fast. <laughs> it's so, <laughs> it's, um, it's a few years of practice. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, and you're not letting us uh, do something. Do you want to do things then? Yes. Okay, absolutely fine. So, it'd be really helpful now sure. to start with the beans. So, we put the beans into a pan, which I think we've got down here. Yes. And if you just put those into the pan, mm -hmm. then and then on a slow heat, mm -hmm. just do all of them. All of them. And, mm -hmm. put a mm -hmm. and just put them on a slow heat okay. for here. And we just leave, we now forget about those. So on just a low, gentle heat. The next thing you have to work in order is, is the um, mushroom. I can do that. So if you want to wash the mushrooms. Yes, yeah, um, um, please. And then Go ahead. you will slice them. Mm -hmm. So while you're doing that, we have to do those first because they will take longer. Mm -hmm. And then what we'll start to do is we'll start to warm up this pan mm -hmm. and we'll start cooking off the sausages yeah. first. So we'll get them going. We'll get the mushrooms going first, get them cooking. And we need a lot of butter because butter makes it. Oh, you've got butter. That's yeah. perfect. So if I get another pan here. Okay. Okay. So what we'll do, if you can chop the mushrooms. So we'll put those in there. Yeah, the, the dish in England is not healthy. So <laughs> not too much oil, but a lot of butter. Can I put okay, it over yeah, there? Yeah, of course you can. Okay. So let's get a knife. Uh, but it's, uh, I, I, I think this is a traditional thing, you know, to have breakfast and to Yeah, it is, to, actually. To I just wanted to know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was... Probably it's too uh, big, right? A little small knife? Sure. I've got a little... Just a... Yeah. Oh, that'll do. Yeah. So, as you can see, we're adding the butter. Um, and basically, you can never have enough butter in this. Mm. So, 
it's it's not healthy. So, <laughs> Again. <laughs> okay, so if you put those in there, and then what we will do is, okay, we'll get those going. Okay, that's fine. Are you sure? Is yeah, that... they, they'll be okay. They'll be okay. they'll fry down. That's mm. fine. Uh -huh. This is very big slices. I think they induce the water. There. I think that's got more than enough then. Okay, so that's it. So if we it's had enough. Them, that'd be enough. It's not... So if we put that, if you would like to cook those slowly, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and if they uh, so we turn the turn temperature, it on, yeah, yes. turn it on. Tell us a bit about Kazakh cuisine. How do you like it? Well, I like Kazakh queen. Um, this 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 needs to be really low. Can we put that on the lowest possible? Yes. Right, if you can good. stir that as well. Kazakh cuisine is is um, it's unusual for me because obviously we don't we didn't know, I didn't know much about Kazakhstan until mm -hmm. I came about seven years ago, and um, so things like bish barmak. And Munti's are really nice. Um, mm -hmm. I also like plov, which uh, I appreciate is a kind of Kazakh, but yes. where you come from. Uh, so Central Asian. Central Asian, Asian so that, that's really nice. So this one here, and then all we need to do is just really wait for these. These are quite thick, but they'll be all right. Um, just to start cooking really uh -huh. hard. I'll put some more butter in there. Do you try to cook Munti in your home? I am not a good cook. I'll be perfectly honest, I am not a, I am a very bad cook, as my wife will tell me universally, and the fact that I only cook English food, which isn't universal. Have you learned from the, from wife? Uh, what what are you gonna cook today for 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 this? <laughs> uh, well, my wife's French, so she she tends to keep me out of the the, uh, the kitchen, but we tend to just go. We, I need some more oil on that. Um, mm -hmm. We tend to just go um, merely for kind of Italian food. It's our favourite. So, so Kazakh food's nice. We like Kazakh food, um, and it's it's different. I mean, we we've, we came to Central, Central Asia seven years ago, um, mm. and uh, so had never experienced Kazakh food mm. in UK. Um, right. <laughs> because in Kazakh, Kazakhstan, in the UK, and it's changing, is relatively an unknown country, which is a real shame because it's great. Um, but because it's relatively unknown. I don't think I've ever been to a Kazakh restaurant in the UK, um, so it's something which is uh, which is coming about. So, yeah, I yeah, think this is uh, a business possibility. <laughs> there's a couple of restaurants in the in New York. New York. Yeah, there's not many. If you would like to now take control of the um, bacon and the. Sure. Uh, just tell me what I can do. Okay. Then. Right. It's it's yeah. it's really difficult to do, but <laughs> no, it's not. Honestly. Okay. So basically, we need to put a nice layer. Of, we're just going to fry the sausages. Sorry, let me put this over here. Sorry. Uh, should I chop it? No, no, no. No. You just do this. Okay. You just, just go. Show me. Ah. So basically, if you don't, do you that, make holes in it. Yeah. So the skin doesn't blow out, and then. You need again a lot of oil in there. Okay, and those holes uh, will be opened. Yeah. So, that, so what it does is it lets the juice out of the sausage. Um, so otherwise, the sausage will just do yeah. that. So make it bigger. Yeah, it just blows out on itself. So you mentioned about Monty and Bishparmak. Yeah. So. Do you think British people are even aware of it? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> so okay. if you want to put some oil in there and some butter, get that nice and warm. And then if you want to, to cook yeah. the, the sausages. No, you, you should. Should I sprinkle? It on. Yeah, no, put, put plenty of oil in there. Don't this is not a healthy dish. Okay. So um, you'll hear me say that numerous times. Just okay. spray Very unhealthy. The oil. And then put the butter in. <laughs> Okay, so let's put some more butter in. Just in the middle of cooking this English breakfast, I'm going to introduce you to interesting facts about the Great Britain. Did you know that the vacuum cleaner was invented in Great Britain? Today it's impossible to imagine our life without this device. The prototype of the modern vacuum cleaner was the British growling billy. William Shakespeare is famous not only for his literary works, but also for adding more than 1,700 words to the English vocabulary. The first English words are met in the works of Shakespeare. The weather in Britain is very unpredictable. It can rain in the morning, the sun could appear in the afternoon, and it can start raining again in the evening. It's no wonder that the majority of the UK population is so obsessed with the weather. More than half of all conversations are about weather and they mention it at least once every six hours. 
London had the largest library in the world. The majestic British Library is located a couple of minutes walk from the famous King's Cross station and has more than 10 million books, over 200,000 titles of periodicals, about 60 million patents and several million audio recordings. I'm feeling myself like, you know. Your arteries are clogging up here. When you're <laughs> when, when you're Pupil of, of the yeah. chef. No, no, so go ahead, put those in, yeah. right? So what you then need. Sous chefs. Yeah, so put those two in. Sure. Okay, you need to bring the temperature up when it starts spitting at you. Mm. Okay. You then need to be rotating them. So what I can ask you to do is as to basically get them cooking. Ah, okay. Awesome. And then you just keep rotating them. So these are nicely mm. cooking away. Oh, okay. I love the color. Yeah. <laughs> this is getting gold. Yeah, they will go gold. Okay, so if you leave, yes. if you want to cook for those. And we see the sauce is coming out. Yes. And the mushrooms. They will taste very nice. Mm, yes, you promise us. <laughs> um, they'll taste of butter. Leave, leave it at that. Okay. So this, you just need to let them kind of fry away. That, we're on low heat. So while I'm doing this, okay. I just want to ask you, so you are ahead of the Hollyberry yes, School in Aston. Director, yeah. So can you just tell more about the relationships between Britain and Kazakhstan? Okay. So the school in the UK where I used to work is 150 years old. Mm. So it has the four houses. They're not called Slytherin, but they are there. <laughs> so about 20 years ago, we had um, some Kazakh pupils who had um, who were being taught in England, and their parents said we would like a Hollyberry in Kazakhstan. Mm, yeah. So they, what they did was they built it in um, Almaty. Ah. And then about two years later, they said, we would like that in Astana. It's a great school. Um, I hope, you know, we try and make it a happy school. And you said that you've been staying here in Kazakhstan for seven years. Yes, coming so, up to my seventh year. Yeah. So I, it's a lot. Yeah, I mean, I turned up. Um, How do you feel so far? I love it. it. I absolutely love Kazakhstan. You love food? I love food. I think, this is my, my what analysis. What else? Oh, yeah. Except food. Um, well, I like the culture. Culture. I think the culture is amazing here. Um, I love all the traditional culture. Um, the more I learn about Kazakhstan, about the various, how Kazakhstan has come about, the history is fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, I like the fact that you have got so many different nationalities living in this amazing country. Mm, yeah. And. Uh, and the thing which I always find strange is you've got such a huge area of space, mm. but not many people know of Kazakhstan outside in Europe. And it's a brilliant country. And when I first got the job, my friends were like, where are you going? We've never heard of it. And now I send back photographs and I say, God, this place looks amazing. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we, we really love it here. It's, it's kind of, we call it a kind of hidden gem of the oh. country. Um, <laughs> right. And obviously Astana, you've got the amazing buildings. And I think the other thing we always say is, you know, people say, why do you live here? We say, because we really like the Kazakh culture and the friendliness. Mm. Um, and yeah. the safety, the friendliness. And for example, whenever we're out and about, um, sometimes we go for walks or whatever, and if we run into like families, they'll okay, go, oh, come, come and have a chat. And we practice our Kazakh, which is very bad. Please don't. Ask. So, um, and so we, you practice Kazakh. Um, the first time I spoke Kazakh, we have on Knowledge Day, and I've been practicing my Kazakh for a long time, and I'm not a good linguist. Mm. So I started up with Salemism, you know, and um, everyone didn't know what I was speaking. So um, they thought I was speaking Latin, mm. and then they worked out I was speaking Kazakh, and I got a round of applause, and I was quite proud. And then this little boy came to me at the end, he went, that was really bad. <laughs> so, um, so there you go. Yeah. So uh, that's that it, right. Honest. So let me just keep an eye on that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oops, we probably want to get those out now. Have we got an oven glove here? Yes, sure. uh, we have it. Okay, okay. All right, so we need to rotate that. And what we can do now, if you want to do this, we're going to put the bacon into there. You keep the fat on it okay. until it goes brown. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you really have to make it um, okay. just... You have gloves. Oven gloves. Oh, yeah. yeah, oh, thank you, oven gloves. And I'm going to put that down somewhere over... Let me... Can I just watch that here? Right. Watch your back, please. Mm hmm Something interesting is happening in our kitchen. Yes, it is. Right. I think um, 
you are good, uh, you provide a good explanation <laughs> of how to cook. So all you have to do, no pressure, is to keep those sausages, rotating them, and that fat, yeah. and we put a bit more butter in there, put that one up a bit, yeah. and keep stirring that. Okay. Just tell me when I can turn oh, those. Just, don't you worry about it, just keep turning them until they go black. All right. So, it's really like a collective activity. It's a, yes, it's a, it's a collective activity. Yeah. You probably need some more oil in there because it's going to start to stick. Mm. So, sorry. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So like this stir one here, it, you, you just keep work. stirring it, just keep them nice and warm. Mm -hmm. and you just keep turning the bacon over. This is great cooking. <laughs> <laughs> this is very great cooking show, it's yes. <laughs> no, it's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. So, Smell but good. I think, uh, do you have a feeling that uh, with the years uh, to come and with the years that um, you uh, spent here in Kazakhstan, our country is gaining more international recognition. Absolutely. And especially, for example, when we're talking about the relations between Kazakhstan and the United Kingdom and education sphere, yep. I think the changes are very impressive. Yes, significant. They, they are. I mean, I think the good thing for Kazakhstan is people are coming to realize how um, how good Kazakhstan is. Um, and I think the links between the UK and Kazakhstan government are very, very strong, which is great. And I know you had Kathy Leach on here yes. <laughs> in the earlier show. Um, so, yes, in education wise, you know, I think we work, we're, we're very honored to work with the, the Ministry of Education. Mm -hmm. um, and we go and work with them, and, and their directors come and work with us. Uh -huh. But it's really good for like sharing education, um, collaboration. And it's, yeah. We do a lot with other uh, educational institution now. And you probably also heard about the uh, now the opening of the double degree programs with yeah. the leading uh, British universities yes. here in Kazakhstan. So yeah, what do you think about this idea? This Great. Thing? I mean, you've got De Montfort University down in Almaty. Almaty. That's a really, uh, really good university there. Um, Harriet Watts. Harriet Watts as well. So they're all really good universities and they're all, you know, yes. so it's... But uh, I think with an ambition of Kazakhstan to become like a regional academic hub, international yeah. academic yeah. hub, I think the competition will be like more and more active for different international schools? What do you think about it? I think, yes, I mean... You ready for this? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I think, to be honest, I, you know, I encourage, you know, okay, we're an international school. Um, I, I, I'm an educator, so um, I want schools, all schools, to kind of raise their levels because it helps the pupils. Um, yeah. Kazakh children are amazing. They are so entrepreneurial and they're so focused on science. And mm. that's why, you know, a lot of the, you know, um, international tech firms are really moving into Kazakhstan now because mm. you've got some really able children, very, very good on the maths and the physics. Um, and that's what will be successful for them. Can you keep turning those over? Sure. Sorry, I'm very bossy. Yeah. It's like being a teacher. You <laughs> must sing <laughs> Are you a teacher? <laughs> yeah, no, I was waiting for that. No, no, no. It's, um, it's, I am a teacher, yeah. so I, I still teach. Oh. Um, Look so. at that, Einar. Yeah. Yeah, you see that. Right, yeah. that's it. So that's that's great. No, that's that's perfect. Perfect. That's, that's yeah. perfect. So, oh, I love this word. I didn't say it's going to be. Right, let's just turn it. Now we need another frying pan. So what we then do? Another frying. Pan. Another frying. Everything revolves around frying in England. On this dish. Right, yeah. Excuse me a second. Sorry. We what have. What should I think yes. Right. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll move that one to there. Okay. So, can, again? I, can I ask you again to do some more? I don't mind whoever wants to do <laughs> yeah. the cooking. Some activities. Right, some activities. So sure. Yeah, just put some oil in there. Yeah, it's great. Okay. And whoever wants to cook the fried eggs, can you do? Can you do no, fried I eggs? can do that, yes. yeah, sure. <laughs> He's on fire today. <laughs> Good idea, your guest, and I'm gonna. Okay. Do this. Right. I think if you start your your day with this breakfast, you don't need to eat the whole <laughs> the rest of the day. No, yeah. it was it was originally developed for kind of workers in the factory, and um, it's so full of calories. Calories, um, yes, it's all about calories. It's all about calories. It was basically to kind of overload everybody. So if you want to keep your eye on that, okay, you don't have to. You just make sure they don't stick. Mm -hmm. So if you get one of those. Okay, if you want to put the temperature up just gently on that, 
and just a add some temperature. Just a little bit of temperature, in. yeah, that's it. A traditional British fry up. So traditional English breakfast. English breakfast, yes. Sorry, fry up is the slang. So ah, okay. yes, it's a traditional English breakfast. Yes. Yeah. So um, now I suggest to go to our next okay, room to side we'll, at the table absolutely. and to taste and to try it. it. Yes, to try okay. it. Okay. There we go. Okay, gentlemen, now I think this is the time to try it, to yep. try our dish. Okay. I will start with mushrooms because okay. I love them. Okay. Um, I'm going to start with bread and eggs on it. Yeah. Mm. Mm. What do you think? I, I haven't had an English breakfast. So I made it. Uh, well, yeah, which you made, yeah. I haven't had one for many years, actually. No, oh, really? No, because they're unhealthy. <laughs> um, but um, it's nice. It yeah. kind of reminds me of when I was a child. Mm. My mum, dad used to. My mum used to cook this. Mm. It's really good. It gives you a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you eat this, you you're not hungry for a long time. And we just discussed that uh, British people, as Kazakh people, mm -hmm. um, are very obsessed with tea, tea ceremonies, tea, drinking but tea. They do like yeah. drinking tea. Um, I once got asked if all the British stopped at four o'clock to drink tea. Mm -hmm. And I wish we did, but we don't. Um, I think coffee is now becoming more popular, mm -hmm. but I can always remember my parents would always have tea. So you'd have tea at like four o'clock and you would have the, the fine bone china and mm, the tea. Yeah. Oh. And then um, you wouldn't just have like one tea, you'd say, what tea do you like? Do you want Earl Grey? All this various selections. Yes. And my grandma was really into tea. Mm. I'm not sure it's so, so much the same with the modern generation. Yeah. Uh, coffee's growing, but tea has always been a very stable part of our diet. Do some, some similarities between the tea procedures in Kazakhstan and the Britain? Well, the, the tea. I, to be honest, I haven't drunk Kazakh tea. Um, not because I don't want to, it's just I haven't. I, I tend to drink, <laughs> I personally <laughs> tend to drink more coffee. Um, I mean, I've drunk Tashkent tea, but. <laughs> Have you ever tried tea with milk? Um, no, I, I just haven't. I, I, I'm not a huge, I know I'm British. I'm yeah. not a huge tea drinker. I tend to drink, I find coffee is more my, my thing. I think my mother would be very unhappy with that, but... Basically, it's uh, tea with the milk. Yes. And it's also like uh, the proper treatment, the proper serving. You yes. know, it's like the milk goes first. Yeah. And then you have right. the, like, the um, very precise amount of yeah. tea going up. And so, yes, that makes a flavor. And we can drink it like very, very... <laughs> many more, you know, it's like yeah. go start conversation, you know, it's like talking and drinking tea, this is <clears> the <throat> whole ceremony. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I, I think, unfortunately, England, we've kind of moved away from that kind of tradition as, as, as life has got faster. Yeah. We kind of just go to coffee exactly. shops now and kind of, you know, got, that's gone. Grab and go. Grab and go. But if you, if you go to my mum and she's 84 and she has her friends around, they will sit down and they they're the old generation. <laughs> they will have the proper tea. So you have the tea, you will then have the little biscuits, which always get right. served with it. And you have a nice little doily, which is kind of a little paper thing, but it's pretty, and you put the biscuits on there. Mm. And it's like a, you all sit around a round table well, and you drink tea. And that's usually at four o'clock. So they say, four come round yes. tea. So. Four o'clock or five o'clock tea. Yes, tea time. it's tea time. Tea time, that's right. sweet. So in England, you have breakfast, lunch, Tea time mm. and then dinner. Mm. Well, I think tea time is kind of going out now. 
um, going out of fashion. So um, that's yeah, that, that's that's very traditional. And in, in England, we obs have been obsessed with tea for about two hundred years, mm. and it was so valuable. Sorry, history teacher. It was so valuable <laughs> at one point. Yeah. You, they used to lock the tea away. So in England, you would have the nobles would drink tea, and they'd have a little what's known as a tea caddy, and it would be in prize of place in somewhere in the house, and it'd be locked because tea was so expensive and they didn't want anyone stealing it. And the, the lady of the house would always carry the key with her to make sure the tea was not stolen. Because it was coming from China at that time. Oh, and it was from uh, the Silk Road. Route. And it was very, very expensive. Yeah. So, um, now, yes, we have reverse for Silk, silk yes, Road. Yes, absolutely, silk yes, yes, Silk Road, yeah. I think that's how most people, probably in the UK and Europe, know about Kazakhstan. Because mm. when you say, oh, the Silk Road, they go, oh yeah, They've heard of the Silk Road. So now it's time to make a surprise. Yes, talking about tea, yes? <laughs> okay. tea yeah, yes, we start yeah. talking about tea, that's why I think. That would be very natural to present. Uh, it would be great additional thing. Oh wow, that yeah, that good. is that's a mousse. <laughs> that is a mousse, yes. Yeah, made from the smoky, fresh kumis. You know, oh, wow, kumis, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a national ingredient added to this. I think that is pie or cake, something. Okay. So, and you'll find mango. Oh, and, wow. Uh, mm -hmm. And just waffles. It looks amazing. Right. Yes, waffles. So that mm -hmm. is for you, enjoy. Yes, thank, if you thank, don't mind. No, no, I, I would, I would love to um, try it and yes, do it the way you want to. That is very nice. Mm. That is. <laughs> I prefer that to that. <laughs> <laughs> that is really nice. Have you tasted kumis? No. No. I haven't. No. no. You've been here for seven years. I know. Years. I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I haven't. Yeah, but it's very national. It's very traditional uh, drink of nomads, I think. It's oh, okay. like various. Um, What's it made of? It's made mayor's of milk. It's a mayor's milk. Mayor's milk. So I've had horse's milk and camel's milk. Is is it similar to that or? Camel's milk is called shubat, right? Mm -hmm, right. And uh, kumis is. Oh, Kamuz is a, is a mayor's milk, that is horse milk. Uh, okay. Horse milk. Yeah, maybe I have yes. without it. Yes. It's, it's not like uh, the natural milk of mayors, but you should make it. Oh, it's like a little bit sweet. Yes. It's in the, just in the specific, you know. Um, and now stuff. you see how nicely yeah. it's, it's been incorporated into it, the very... It, it tastes, yeah. if I show everyone there, it tastes yeah. lovely. <laughs> I, I'm a big fan of this. Um, yes, of different kinds of desserts and products. Mm, yeah. It's really good. Yeah. No, I like that one a lot. Try Kamus next time. I will, sorry, <laughs> apologies, sorry everybody. <laughs> and yes, we'll be, you will, will fall in love with this taste. Yeah. Well, oh, thank you. And I think this is time also to give you uh, our final Present. Almost present. forget about that. So yeah, <laughs> we have present for you. Oh, wow. Also, John. This is, so here, this is a gift you can take away. That is a oh. brand new pocket with the name of it, Talk and Cook. Thank you so much. And you will find this box inside. Oh, lovely. <laughs> More healthy food. Yeah. <laughs> That's not chocolate. <laughs> so you find a gem in there. It's fantastic. Yeah, enjoy. Yes. Thank you. I mean, Enjoy it. Thank you. I'm, I must admit, I'm preferring this to that. Sorry, <laughs> um, but this is lovely, and it's, I've really enjoyed. Um, and thank you so much for your assistance. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think we did a great job today. Hey, we did a good job. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. Thanks to you for... to, to you because you know we we learned a lot, <laughs> especially <Yeah>. me. How <laughs> much we did. Yeah. I'm, so now I know how to do the English breakfast. Yeah. I will yeah. do it at home. Yes, thank, thank you. you again thank you so for much. being with us today. For no, I've enjoyed introducing it. you the uh, the traditional English breakfast. Thank and, you. Uh, yes. Good. It was good to have you with us. And uh, I'm just reminding you that that's it for today. More episodes of Talk and Cook you can watch on Silkway TV channel. So stay tuned and stay with us. <laughs>